All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy, crazy video. Now, before we get into this video, I first off just want to say, man, I appreciate every last one of y'all, okay? Y'all been going crazy. There's, like, the, the amount of subscribers that, that's like, y'all just been, uh, 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 like, y'all been really slamming that subscribe button. So, if you are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, my name is The Pan. Subscribe to the channel. You're going to love it here. But... We got a crazy video for y'all, okay? So this is Trump panic starts to, uh, he starts to back out of debate with Camila Kamala, Tamila, I don't know, whatever her name is. But it, apparently Trump is scared to debate Kamala. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I already know this video gonna be cap, but because of the title, it caught my attention. So without further ado, man, let's get it, let's go. Amid the news that Biden is dropping out of the 2024 race, Donald Trump, of course, posted a raft of posts on the True Social, but it was his most recent one that was especially telling. He wrote, my debate with crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the United States, was slated to be broadcast on fake news ABC, the home of George Slopidopoulos, sometime in September. Now that Joe has, not surprisingly, quit the race, I think the debate with whoever the radical left Democrats choose should be held on Fox News rather than the very biased ABC. Thank you. In other words, he's already laying the groundwork to skip the September debate by moving the goalposts and creating new and, frankly, unacceptable standards that now have to be met. To be clear, Fox News, the network that was forced to pay $787 million for lying on Donald Trump's behalf and that has been breathlessly waging right-wing propaganda on his behalf, should not be able to host a debate with Donald Trump. And Trump knows that that's unacceptable, which is why he's saying it. It's not because he actually wants a debate, even one hosted by Fox News. It's precisely because he doesn't. He is clearly scared, and this is his way of wiggling out of standing on that stage as a convicted felon alongside Kamala Harris, a longtime prosecutor. He knows exactly how he would fare against her. In fact, she already has experience prosecuting this exact case. Here's an ad that Kamala ran back in 2020. Take a look and then ask yourself why Donald Trump might just be a tad afraid to face off against her. Sick of this? Well, think about this. He's a world leader in temper tantrums. She never loses her cool. She prosecuted sex predators. He is one. Grab him by the She shut down for-profit colleges that swindled Americans. He was a for-profit college. At Trump University, we teach success. Literally. He's owned by the big banks. She's the attorney general who beat the biggest banks in America and forced them to pay homeowners $18 billion. He's tearing us apart. She'll bring us together. This is Trump. And in every possible way, this is the anti-Trump. So if that's what you're looking for in your next president, there's really only one, Kamala. So if you're Donald Trump and you are a the actual freak that I just watched. They they have ads. That's how desperate she is. That's how desperate she is. She she has paid for ads for people to to vote her into to be president. Number one, let me let me, number one. Like I say this every video, and I gotta keep saying it because I want people to understand this. I am not a politician. I am here for the truth, but the truth. Is, is nowhere to be found in Kamala, Kamala, Tatala, wh whatever. It's no truth to be found to her. You're telling me you want this woman to, to be our president of the United States. The problem that I have with this is that majority of people that will vote for her are black women because they believe that she's black, just how they believe that Obama was black. I'm just, like, first, can we take race out of voting for presidents? Can we look at truth? Can we look at policies? Can we look at the common sense things that Biden, not Biden, hold on, I'm sorry. That, uh, no, he has not did anything that was common sense. The only thing that he ever done that was actually logical and I agree with is dropping out this race. That, that's the only thing he ever done throughout his entire, throughout his entire, uh, his, his entire run as a president. He dropped out, he dropped out the race. That That's the only great thing he done. Only great thing he done. But you have this man right here actually sitting here taking little pieces and bits. Like, I hate when they use that one clip, grab them by the, gra grab them by the P. You feel me? I don't even know why I, I could have just said the word. But you know what I'm trying to say. You feel me? I don't need to say it. But grab them by the P. You feel me? They use this one clip about Donald Trump. And then they, they turn the whole entire world or try to turn the entire world against him. 
I cannot stand when people take little snippets of something instead of reading and, and listening to the context of something. Just how the just how the freaking uh, little tweet that Trump put out. Where in the world did he ever say that he was scared? Where in the world did he ever say he was scared to debate Kamala? Uh, he's going to win the debate. He's going to win the debate. She has no chance to stand up against Trump. Like I said, I am not a politician. I'm here for truth. And I stand with truth. And Trump has majority of the truth. It lies within him. It lies within his policies. It shows that he's trying to bring America together. And you're talking about Kamala, Camila, whatever. you telling me this Indian something mixed woman is trying to bring America, America together? A woman that was under Biden that's going to follow after Biden footsteps that's not going to do nothing? And number one, again, she is a woman. You're trying to have a woman lead this country. Let me be clear. There is nothing wrong at all with the amount of things that a woman can deal with. Women get periods every month. They carry a baby for nine months. They, but we have to understand the reason the, from the beginning of time, from the beginning of this earth, everything went through a man. A man was meant to lead. When you look at God and when you look at the Bible and the Old Testament, who did God talk to major most of the time? Almost every time, who did he speak to first? He spoke to the man. He didn't speak to the woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he didn't. He had, he had moments where he spoke to the woman, but when it came to leadership, who did he speak to? He spoke to the man. Like, And we're taking that away. We're taking away an emasculating man, taking away a man's power and saying, no, we're going to put a black quote unquote black woman into office make it make sense bro make it make sense Forty four thousand black women raised 1.5 million dollars for kamala harris i just seen that article bro that junk is ridiculous bro this dude is a bro he's a lunatic he has no brain up here he has no brain up here this is the type of man I, i'm let me keep my comments to myself let me let me let me actually be like jesus in this moment okay I, i'm gonna turn the other cheek on this one okay so yeah. A 34-time convicted felon and a sex predator, and suddenly your opponent is a criminal prosecutor who locked up sex predators. Would you be eager to debate? Me neither. There's also the fact that Kamala Harris's principal issue as vice president has been defending women's reproductive rights, the exact issue that has united virtually the entire country, including voters in Kansas, Ohio, Kentucky, Virginia, Alabama, and on and on. All the while, here's Donald Trump's position on that exact issue. I got rid of Roe v. Wade. I'm the one that got rid of Roe v. Wade. I was able to do it, and I was very honored to do it. Do you believe in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. And that's biblical. That's biblical. But we ain't even gonna get into that. As a principle. Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. There, of course, remains a vital role for the federal government in protecting unborn life. Nobody has ever done more for right to life than Donald Trump. Roe v. Wade, they won. They finally won. Uh, the Iowa bill was signed, and they wouldn't have been able to do anything if I wasn't able to do what I did. Meaning, yet again, Kamala Harris is uniquely positioned to take on Donald Trump as she focuses on the principal issue that Trump is weakest on, and the issue on which there is zero ambiguity as to where Donald Trump stands. Trump just drew a challenger who's dedicated her career to restoring abortion rights against the guy who stripped those rights away in a country that has repeatedly rejected abortion extremism. I'd call that bad luck, but the risks of Trump's extremism were always abundantly clear. In fact, Trump's fears are being echoed by Republican sources in the media. According to Politico, quote, it's striking how much GOP anger there is over today's news. Donald Trump's campaign is built to beat Joe Biden. One GOP source tells me he doubts Trump will debate Vice President Kamala Harris. He'll likely call her an illegitimate candidate. In other words, he'll run away because he knows he'll lose. Remind me, Republicans, this is your strongman? Got it. And Trump didn't stop there. He posted another post on the Truth Social, writing, So we are forced to spend time and money on fighting crooked Joe Biden. He pulls badly after having a terrible debate and quits the race. Now we have to start all over again. Shouldn't the Republican Party be reimbursed for fraud in that everybody around Joe, including the doctors and fake news media, knew he was not capable of running for or being president? Just asking. First of all, are you at all surprised that Trump's initial reaction is to demand money? The grift truly never stops. The guy could be on fire, and he would demand that the firefighters empty their wallets before they put him out. But second, does this- Bro, where are you getting your facts from? No, these are the facts. Where are you getting your information from, bro? 
Do you not understand? Bro, Trump is a businessman, fam. The last thing he's ever asking for is money out of someone. I'm like, I'm, no, this is like, I'm literally like really curious. See, I look at Trump like a businessman. He's about, he's, bro, he's about the money. He's about the money. You feel me? He's a businessman, bro. That's why I like Trump so bad. I like some, some black folks voted for Trump because they want their, their stimulus or whatever, you know, Trump was giving out. I didn't even get that at that time, but still, I'm just saying like, they want, the, they want the money from Trump. Me, I, I, I don't want the money. I'm looking at it for a better future, a better future for if I do have kids within these next four years. At least I know my kid will be okay. You feel me? I wouldn't have to stress and see what school I want. Like, even what Trump's trying to do with the education systems. Like, it's just like, come on, I'm looking at that. I'm looking at the, the long-term things. I'm not looking at just the money aspect of it. But to say that if Trump was on fire, he would ask the the, the firefighters to dump. Like, what? They don't even make a lot. Like, come on, bro. Like, y'all be making stuff up about Trump that is not even true. Y'all hate him so much for whatever reason. I don't know. But for whatever reason, y'all hate him so much. Y'all take a little bits and things and that he say out his mouth and then y'all just use them and use them for y'all benefit, use them for y'all gain. And this is how y'all get the content. This is how y'all get the content. This whole entire video for four minutes straight, you have just talked about all the negative things that Trump has done. Supposedly. <laughs> Quote unquote, supposedly done. And then you talk about all the supposedly good things that Kamala did. I I'm sorry. I am super sorry. But bro, let me be real with you. There are a lot of evil people and there are a lot of evil people, okay? Everyone is evil. You can say how good you are and this and that, but everyone does evil in every way, bro. We was born into sin, but I say that to say this. You can't point the bad that Trump supposedly done and then point out the good that Kamala supposedly done, but not talk about none of the good that Kamala done. See, look, me, I'm not a politician, so I can point out the bad and the good in Trump. And I could point out some of the bad and good in uh, Biden. But I can't just put out everything bad against Biden. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of good things that he did. You know, I make jokes about him because, I mean, he's our oldest president. Our oldest president. Like, of course I'm going to make jokes about that, bro. Like, we have an old man running for like running this country is, is ridiculous to me. It's, it's outrageous to me how you Democrats like, like y'all really allowed this man to be the president. And then y'all want him back. And y'all was mad that he dropped out. It's It's mind blowing to me, mind blowing to me, but it's so mind blowing. What else is mind blowing to me is the fact that I watch these type of videos and I see how they talk so down on Trump, but then they don't forget that when we look at the year, when Trump actually ran for president and look at the year now, you cannot tell me that your life is better now than it was back then. You cannot tell me that. I'm sorry, but you could tell me that life was easier when Trump was president than it is now. Life is always going to be hard, but it was much easier. It was much affordable. It was much, it was more things that I could possibly do with my money than spending on freaking, you got high interest rates. You got high rent, bro. Every landlord is going up on rent because of the inflation bro like come on now you cannot tell me that life is easier easier now unless you're rich unless you're the wealth you know what i'm saying and unless you already started your business when trump was in office and then by the time biden got in office your business already exploded so you're making that money but unless you're that you cannot tell me that life is easier now like you cannot truly tell me that and then when you look at our future let biden or kamala be president our future is doomed bro we might as well say goodbye you know what I'm saying? But before I vote for anybody, I vote for Jesus. That's just me. That's why I'm not a politician. I vote for Jesus. But these people, they they put their 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 politicians or their politics, they put it on a pedestal. They worship these people. Say, I don't worship Trump. I don't agree with everything Trump said, but I agree with the truth. And I believe that he has more truth than Biden ever did. I believe that he has more truth than Kamala will ever have. And it's sad to say, but at the end of the day, a lot of the truth is in the right. It's not in the left. That's why I don't I don't consider myself conservative, left, right. I don't consider myself none of that. But when I when I look at politics, I do lean more towards the right, the right side because it's more truth. There's not there's there's maybe li there's lies in both. There's lies in both, but it's more truth. It's more truth over lies. And I support the truth. That's just me. But bro, it's crazy. I'm literally watching somebody talk so down on Trump and he hasn't said not one good thing that Trump done. One good thing that Trump done for America, because it's a lot that he done for America. A lot more things he did good for America than Biden ever did in his run, in his term. Make it make sense. It's not making sense.
sound like a guy who's confident that he'll win? From day one, Trump was only ever able to say that Biden was old. He was never able to actually prosecute the case on the merits. He was never able to attack Biden on legislation or his accomplishments because he couldn't. All he ever had was the bargain basement strategy of saying old, old, old. And now that Kamala's in, and suddenly Trump is the old one, and this race will no longer be a referendum on Joe Biden's age, but rather on the actual issues like abortion and Project 2025 and Trump's dangerous expansion of the executive branch, Donald Trump quite literally doesn't know what to do. So he does the only thing he knows how to do, to bitch and complain and ultimately demand some more money. So do not be surprised if you see Trump out there wallowing in self-pity and victimhood. But you might want to contrast that with the image that his campaign is trying to convey. Donald Trump wants to be viewed as a strong man, and yet his reaction to Kamala Harris becoming the nominee is to throw a temper tantrum and demand cash? His reaction is to set the stage to back out of the debate? And yet, this is the guy who's going to defend the US on the world stage in the event of an emergency? This is who's going to protect our country? The guy who's too scared to debate his opponent? Give me a break. Trump is weak and it's becoming painfully obvious. In fact, the extent to which he doesn't know how to run against Kamala is especially obvious here. The moment we take back the White House from Crooked Joe Biden and Kamala, I call her laughing Kamala. You ever watch her laugh? She's crazy. Man. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. Every second. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for pausing. I'm sorry. Okay, come on. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. She's not as crazy as Nancy Pelosi. Crazy Nancy. That's what he's got against Kamala. Her laugh. Nothing else. This is going to be a bad last few months of campaigning for Trump. And what's worse for him? His campaign has spent years laying the foundation as to why we shouldn't have an old guy as president. Well, guess what? There's only one candidate for president who's an old guy, and it's not Kamala Harris. Donald Trump is now the only septuagenarian candidate for president, and I gotta say, those Republicans may have been onto something. Do we really want someone who's gonna be in his 80s as president? Do we really think he'll be able to wake up at 3 a.m. if there's a national security emergency? Especially with someone with as poor health as Trump has? Just, you know, something to think about. And that's to say nothing of the most important point, Trump is an idiot. He is an incompetent lunatic who spent the last few days advocating for Hannibal Lecter and better water pressure in toilets. His first term was an abject failure, with him losing the most jobs in American history, overseeing a worst in the world response to COVID, a sky-high unemployment rate, an economy that contracted 3.4% and a surging murder rate. Luckily for America, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris added 16 million jobs, brought the unemployment rate down to a half century low, oversaw the strongest economy in the world, and brought the murder rate down a staggering 25%. Their records speak for themselves, which is probably why Trump will do everything he can to avoid speaking on that record on a debate stage. I know he's supposed to be the tough guy, but I've never seen a politician look more weak. Oh, I'm so glad that video over with. Oh my gosh. Oh my. But my ears was bleeding, bro. I was just trying to get through the video for y'all. First of all, I, I, where do you guys get your information from? What statistics do you guys look at? Well, like, I'm, like, do you guys even look at your own life and see how your life was different? Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm truly confused. I am truly confused. You talk about. Biden and Kamala, they did this and they did that. Please, show me what they done for America. Show me. We almost, we, we are going to war and we doing all, like, what, what are they doing? What, what, what seriously have they done? And you talk about um, Trump going to be the oldest president, whatever. Okay. Yes, we do not want an old, old president, but let me, let, me re, let me rephrase this. We don't want nobody elderly. That, 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 that can barely walk up a stair. We want somebody who may, yeah, Trump is old. He's getting old. Okay, he's 78. So, he, yeah, he's, he's old. He's about there, yeah. But this is one thing that I can say about Trump. He can finish his sentences. He can stand on the RNC stage and freaking talk for three and some, four, some hours, four, seven, five, seven, whatever. He talks for a long time. Uh, and also, he still is capable of walking upstairs He's still capable of staying awake doing doing uh doing um rallies. He he answers the questions that people have for him instead of kind of mumbling over the words. His wife does not have to help him to get off the stage. So we have an old president, but we have someone who can take care of himself. 
Biden just could not do that. Yeah, he just could not do that. You know what I'm saying? And, and and then we talk about abortions. You Democrats, liberals, left wing people are so crazy to me. Trump is trying to protect the lives of these babies that's being killed. Because when you look at statistics, y'all always talk about rape. <laughs> y'all always talk about that, right? But it's more people getting abortions from what from what from what I know. And and please correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong. I'm I don't have pride. You know what I'm saying? I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I will admit that. But from what I know, it's more abortions getting done of people that just don't want the baby than people actually being forced and, and you know, being forced against their will to have sexual intercourse with a man. It's more people getting abortions because they just don't want the baby. They just don't want the baby. So cut me with all that. Oh, what if they get raped? What if they cut me with all that, bro? Cut me with all that. I take that serious, but for you guys to keep throwing that out, Trump is trying to protect the lives of babies. He's trying to do something that the Bible actually speaks on. But I forgot this country, this the, the people in this country are so so focused on their feelings, so focused on um just so focused on just their emotions and everything that is inside that they don't look at the they don't look at the biblical principles of things. They don't stand with God no more. This country has literally fell fell away from God. That's just the the point, the, like the, the simple point of it. This country has fell away from God. Simple as that. So, of course, they don't agree with Trump policies because majority of Trump policies are biblical policies. I'm not saying I agree with every single, do every single, uh, I say every single Donald Trump. And I don't, I'm not saying I agree with every single thing that Donald Trump says. But a lot of the stuff he does say is truth. And why would I stand with truth? Why would I stand with lies? Why would I stand with a president or the left side who always bringing up race, who's always bringing up black this and black that? Like, come on now. You guys only vote on Kamala because of what? Because she's the she was the next person that was closest to uh, Biden? Like, seriously? Are you serious right now? You're voting a woman into office. A oh, you want a woman to run this country. Like, just put it like this for me, And for example. When you get onto the military, do you see any women at the front line? When you see police and law enforcement, do you see any women at the front line? Like at the front line getting ready to, to go to war or getting ready to kill, getting ready to shoot. When you see police officers having a warrant for somebody to arrest, you may see a woman behind another man. Like explain that to me. At the end of the day, like I said before, women are not meant to lead in this sense. Men are meant to lead. And when we talk about running America, that's a leadership role. I'm not saying that a woman is weak because a woman is not weak. They go through a lot. But as a man, I know that men are meant to lead. That's that's one that's one priority. That's one quality that a man has is we are meant to lead. Why would I want a woman leading this country? If you have a woman in your relationship leading you, you need to it's, it's something that's missing there. A woman should not wear the pants in a, mar in a marriage or in a relationship. A woman should not wear the pants. The man should be standing up on business, being masculine, and wearing the pants. I'm not saying that means tell your woman what to do, this and that. But I'm saying that you're supposed to be the leader. It's biblical. But we ran away from the Bible. That's what I'm saying. This country has ran away from God. That we want a woman to be our president. We want a woman to lead this country. A woman who was under Biden, who don't know what she's talking about, who don't know what she's doing, who don't have any type of principles that's going to benefit us for the future. Think about the future, guys. Stop thinking about the right now. Stop thinking about the, oh, I hate Trump. I hate Trump. Get out your feelings and think about the future. Think about your kid's future. Think about the next generation. If you don't think about that, then guess what? Well, that just means you just don't care. Every politician has their faults. But you just think that Trump just the all the all for like just the, the just a terrible person. He's not. He's truly not. Look into the policies. Look into what he's actually saying. Get into the context of things. If you don't know something, read on it. Get into the context. Don't just take one thing he's saying and say, "Well, Trump said grab about a coochie." Like what? Like come on now, let's read. The, let's let's really hear what he said about that. Oh, Trump told his people to go storm the Capitol. No, he did not. He told them go peacefully. Let your voice be heard, but he never told them to do what they did. They did that off their own intuition. They did that off them, their, their own feelings, their own emotions. People can do what they want to do and what they choose to do because they, they have that free will to do so. But Trump never told them, go storm the Capitol, go kill these people, go do this, go bash the windows. He never said that. But y'all say that he said that. 
a lot of things y'all say are just lies. Because y'all want to feed into black people because black people are so emotional. They so I mean emotion emotional. They're so emotional. It's sad to me. 45, 44 some thousand women raised 1.5 million or some dollars for Kamala because she's a so-called black woman. She's not even black, bro. I don't even care about the race, but I'm just saying, be logical. You will vote a black person, just know that she's not black. Obama, y'all thought he was black too? No, he wasn't. The man was biracial. You feel me? He may have some black in him, but that doesn't mean he's black. It's a lot of white people who got some black in them, but do that mean that they black? Like, I'm just saying, bro, like, if you want to really go off race, just be real. You feel me? But anyways, man, I'm going to go ahead and get off this video. Like I said, before I vote anybody, man, I vote Jesus. I vote Jesus policies. I vote God. I, I, that's who I vote for. Forget all the, but this, all, all this stuff is just trying to divide us even more. But it's, it, I just want people to see truth. Open your eyes. See the truth. See the light. It's in your face. Read. Listen. The Bible tells us to be quick to hear. Slow to speak. So many of y'all quick to speak and slow to listen. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. I think God made it like that for a reason. I'm supposed to hear first before I say something out of my mouth. It's only one mouth, but I have two ears. I can hear from the left and the right. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be on board the pan. I love each and every one of y'all. Sorry that this video was longer than usual, but God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.